Okay, children, are you ready? Are you excited? Okay, cool. I love this. So now I'm going to ask you some questions just to see how you understand the sacrament you are going to receive today. Okay? Don't worry, you have three lifelines today. <laughs> so if you don't know the answer, turn to your parents. They are right beside you. Okay? And they might help you. If not, you have your grandparents. You can always seek out their help. They are the pros in this. They should know all about what you're going to receive today. And if not, we have a wonderful congregation here that can help you out too in this. Okay? So if you know the answer, raise your hand and we'll go from there. First question. When was the first Mass? The first Mass. Does anyone know? Eleanor. The Last Supper. The Last Supper was the first Mass. And who offered that Mass? Jesus. Jesus was the high priest and he is the only priest that offers mass. I am just standing here on his behalf, on his, in his name. So Jesus is the only priest that offers mass. All other priests, we are in his name to reenact the mass every day every time we gather for the Eucharist. So you got two answers, correct? Very good so far. Okay, do you know any of the people who were at the first mass at the last supper? Yes. Jesus' disciples, can you name some of them? Peter, Matthew, James, John, Joseph, Simon, <laughs> good friend, <laughs> Simon, anyone else you remember, Thomas, <laughs> Thomas, anyone else, Judas, Judas left early, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's why we call people who leave mass early, what do we call them? <laughs> we call them the faithful departed. <laughs> so don't be one of those, okay? When you come for mass, you stay till the end, <laughs> okay? <laughs> So, very good. Yeah, you will see all the 11 disciples. In the pictures of the Last Supper, you, most of those pictures, you'll only see the 11. Judas has already left, so he didn't finish the Mass, that Last Supper. Okay? Now, on Holy Week, we heard a lot of story of the Passion of Jesus. Who was the one that betrayed Jesus three times? Peter. Yeah, Peter denied Jesus three times. And who was the one that betrayed him? That sold him with 30 sil silver pieces? Judas, yeah. So very good. So at the Last Supper, we had this 11 disciples who are there with Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, did they stay with him or not? 
the 11 disciples. Did they stay with Jesus at the foot of the cross? Eleanor? No, they deserted him. They all ran away. Yeah, starting with Judas. Yeah, nobody was there. Only in John's gospel we hear John standing beside the foot of the cross. But they all ran away. But today, if you heard the gospel of today, Jesus still loved them. Jesus still loved them. So when he came to them, what was the first words that Jesus said to his disciples after he rose from the dead? Anyone? If you're listening to today's gospel, peace be with you. Peace be with you. These were the first words of Jesus to his disciples. I love you. Don't worry. I am here. I forgive you. Just receive peace. Be in your heart. Don't feel guilty about running away, about deserting me. I want you to be at peace. Be at peace with yourself and be at peace with God. And this is the greatest gift that Jesus gives us in the Eucharist, peace. Why? Because God has reconciled us with himself in Jesus. And Jesus has provided a banquet, the Last Supper, for us to continue to celebrate his love for us by eating his body, drinking his blood. Today, you are going to receive Jesus for the first time. For the first time. You are no longer coming with your hands like this. Now you are coming to receive Jesus in your hands. This is Jesus loving you so much that he wants you to share in his life. So you carry a little bit of Jesus in you every time you come for communion. And today begins that process. And that is why for us as Catholics, it's always good to come, receive Jesus, celebrate Eucharist together. Because he wants to share us, share with us, his life with us at every Eucharist. This is our wedding banquet. This is where the love of God for us as humans are one. And we consume that in the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. So that you can be the presence of Jesus in your family, in your friends, everywhere you go. That is the gift of Jesus. So today, I ask the congregation, do you think these children are ready to receive First Holy Communion? Yes. I want to hear a resounding yes here. Yes? Okay. Now you are ready to receive First Holy Communion. And that is why today we have to reject Satan. Totally turn away from Satan and turn to Jesus alone. So we'll renew our baptismal promises. You'll be sprinkled with the holy water Again, I love to do this. <laughs> Just cleanse away our sins so that we may be ready to receive Jesus at communion today, okay? Invite you now to stand and let us renew our baptismal promises.